Don't you again? No, 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 no. Hey guys, welcome to Emergency Intercom where we get crazy. We, we do get wild serious. things on here, but we can also get serious. We can also make love and meaning. Meaning of this sick and twisted world. You, you saw the diarrhea plane? The diarrhea. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Wait, actually, do you was... have that video? Because I, I didn't watch it because I wanted to like yeah. react to it. So there was this airplane that was flying across the sea. It got two hours into their trip. Um, I think they were taking flight out of Atlanta. Yeah. And two hours into their trip, someone was fighting a fucking demons bro <laughs> like real fucking demon and when you see the video you're gonna know what i was Wait, talking is about it a, there's a video of not no 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 oh. but like it was like it, it was two hours in the flight this person like must have been like really down bad because like their butthole like it looked like it was spraying like it the aisles were covered in human shit like it looked like multiple people sprayed feces everywhere but it was so bad that like it was like splattered shit all down the hallway and they were like fucking running to the bathroom like <laughs> Like spring. Wait, poop that's out like I have that picture of the girl who shit at the club. Yeah. Have I showed you that? Literally. Dude, yeah. Kai, this is gonna make you disgusted. Diarrhea plane. I wanna get it back. I wanna make a bit of Diarrhea plane. Damn, wait, I'm low-key serving Olivia Rodrigo right now. Okay, here's the video. Wait. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, they covered oh, it, it all covered. up. Oh, there it is. Ah! Look, it like goes all the way up the aisle. Do you see oh how God. far it goes Mixed up the aisle? Mixed that motherfucker has salmonella. Like, why are they shitting like that? I'm not putting it in the episode. Because like, yeah, we can't show that. It's literally like turds. What's annoying is I really want, but we can't insert that, but I really want to insert what I have. Oh my God. <laughs> on my phone right now because it's the craziest thing ever. I've never had to shit like that before. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like literally what was going on? Like, why were they spraying this turd? This her too. <laughs> no, that's a vibe. Like that no way that looks like fucking peanut butter we can put that in the episode but you know what's crazy is i literally was texting some friends before we went to a party um and one of my friends was like dude i have such bad diarrhea and i'm wearing a dress like i'm gonna shit on the floor and, <laughs> and then i literally videos... looked up girl shit on the floor in the club and i found this dude those videos of just like the most random people that like look like they've done it for their entire life where they just like like shake a turd out of their <laughs> pant leg and it just plops on the wait ground a of second, a gas wait a station. Second, wait a second, because is that like a common video? Because I've never seen I've seen, seen that. at least six videos just going around the internet where someone will like just like be standing up and drop a turd out of their pants and then just keep walking like nothing happened. And it's all like I recordings of that. like security cameras where they're like <laughs> recording like the turd falling out. And it's like, it's so fucking funny. Dude. But yeah, just look up like security camera footage of someone shitting inside my convenience store or something. It, that is so crazy because it just is such an animal instinct to put, like you just have to poop. You naturally have to do those literally. kind of things. And also, I don't know why my brain is going here, but last night as I was falling asleep, I literally, I, I was like, I sit here, maybe my projections of you being schizophrenic and losing your mind in the future are just me because that's where I'm headed. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe this. I was not high. I was not drunk. I was dead sober falling asleep last night. And when I closed my eyes, I literally like, I had a moment where I, I like felt my whole existence and I and I felt everything in my body like I felt my whole body and like like the weight of it and like you everything shifted. moving through it and then literally listen to this and then it was like you know those fucking stupid ass cameras at award shows that like swing oh, around yeah. like I I like envisioned myself because I like my brain like 3D scans Girl, my whole body. you astral projected yeah, bro. Like, you were omnipresent. I like scans my whole body and then like it was just like nothing. Like I was just like in like someone's like Tumblr grid feed. Like it was like so like like you know like when everybody was obsessed with just like a white thing with like black lines oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like i was there like it was literally like in a video game where you're you walk too far outside of the world so it's just like the 3d like rendering like it has to render out that's what i felt like and i it freaked me out i immediately opened my eyes and then i just looked around and i was like okay um and then i grabbed my iphone and i drowned Dude. myself in it 
that's like that's the real problem is like once you realize like why you like okay like like when you start consciously thinking about why you picked up your phone or why you hit the puff bar or why you turned on the tv or why you opened your laptop like whatever it is like once you start like locking in and thinking about the thoughts you had before that that's how you crack the code because like the, there's a reason why you want to dull your senses or like need that spike of dopamine and it's because your brain is thinking some thought that you don't like that you're running from and once you stop running from those thoughts that's when you unlock like superpowers and i'm never gonna stop running that's why my screen time is I know, 18 I don't hours need superpowers like i don't need that that's the thing is like what it, what like what are you going to gain what are you, know, you going to gain? Literally, okay, so you know like in ancient times how they like demonized sex and made like sex like made everyone in the world still guilty about sex. Like you can't have sex without like being like a little guilty about it. What if instead of sex, the Catholic church chose shitting? So everyone was just going around like <laughs> holding saying like, I don't poop. shit. I never do that. I don't have sex before marriage. I don't shit before marriage. I know shit before marriage. Yeah. Well, girls do that. Girls don't poop until they die. When they die, they drop a huge load. Yeah. And that's why I've girls, seen it. If my you grandma. Look, look it up. Look it up. Girls' coffins are bigger. Yeah, my grandma's because coffin. Their lower half becomes full of poop. Yeah, it was crazy. My my grandma's coffin was like full of turds. It was so weird. <laughs> it smelled so bad. Dude, it was that's like the worst. every funeral woman funeral it smells really bad. <laughs> How many women's funerals have you been to? Like thirty six. I go to the victims. <laughs> I go to my victims' funerals. You seen uh, the pictures and videos of me hanging out with Shawn Mendes going around? There's no. You have never hung out with Shawn Mendes. Uh, correction. I did. Let me find the pic. It was before Beyonce, before Toy, before Rainbow Slurpee. His Clout Chaser album. I know. Like, what? <laughs> Me and Beyonce. Was it before you looking at the Masonic imagery in Mr. Beast videos? or? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to send it to you. Dude. <laughs> I, I airdropped it. it. I'm going to cancel that because it's taking you too long. Oh, my God. I'm actually going to... Freak the fuck hey, out. Hey, you need a new phone because yours is moving so slow. Oh my God, they unveiled the new iPhone today, so your phone is going slow. Guys, they're doing it again. They literally are, bro. They're I don't throttling believe my in shit. that shit. Y'all no, are fucking no, tweakers, bitch. It's because you court use that case. damn phone too much, so your battery is no, melting the fucking there membrane. There was an actual court case. There was an actual court case where like, they're awarding people money because it was proven that Apple throttles batteries. Like, It's a real thing. That's okay. What's so bad about that? Here it it's is. Their own. Me and Shane. Uh, me and Sean. <laughs> Fuck you. Me and Shane. Fuck. There is a picture of me and Sean. It was. It's actually so funny, was and I wish I could one? fucking find it, dude. Dude, I literally I cannot deal with my phone right now. This is like driving me insane. It was before. Was it after dude, the? Look at him. <laughs> look up Air One. Because it was in the Air One. Do you have your? No, it wasn't in the Air One. Fuck. You already know, so it's not even funny to show you because. I don't think I know bit, because I'm asking bit you. This fucking flopped. Bro. I'm asking you like what it is, and you're saying it's not what I think it is. It is exactly what you think it is. Oh, then this is awkward because yeah. I here I found it. <laughs> Dude, I cannot. I hate really when you make that see? face. But y'all are hanging out in that. It kind of looks like a fan interaction. Kai, I sent it to you. Um, you know what's crazy is that's the second time Drew reaction. Phillips and Sean Mendes have been in an air wand together. So something is Wait, happening. This is it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the one. Flash that one when I showed it, yeah, and then flash it when I showed you. Um, but I think it should be coming in now. If you swipe over, coming it in hot. Hey, hot off the presses is Drew Phillips being a creepo. I'm not getting it. Yet. You're going to jail. They're throttling your phone. That's why. This is too fucking much. This is so fucking much. I can't deal with you this. You have shit. had that phone for 18 years. <laughs> like I know I'm getting the 15, but then I saw it and I was like, I think it so looks depressed. Good. I was like, this shit is like so mid. This is what I was waiting for. Like, if, my whole I'll let life, you buy literally. this one off of me, and I'll buy the other one. Girl, no, you'll give you'll that get, one. You'll to get me. this for a discounted price. Can you stop filming me? Oh, you thought I was filming you? Nah. <laughs> Guys, buy my wildflower case. Do you know I have a case? I have a uh, collaboration case came out uh, have you a, seen, a year ago. Have you seen the... Seems like um, no one cares about it anymore, though. 
Have you seen the um, spy animals that they've been dropping in like Shut animal society? No, I'm being dead in serious. animal society. Spy like, animals? what are you talking they about? Why, why have you gone no, so oh, far? Oh, oh, your let me fucking speak. That you let me speak. Into let me speak. Society. No, they have been making fake critters of like monkeys, of turtles, of birds, of fucking things, and these birds are like drones, and they like. They drop them in these fucking things and they lay eggs and the eggs are fucking cameras. And then they record how other animals react. And these monkeys like take no, no, this yeah, spy yeah, monkey. For sure, Drew, Chill, for chill, sure. chill, chill, chill. These monkeys <laughs> take these spy monkeys in and they treat it as its own because they're like, oh, this like hurt little monkey can't even do anything for itself. And they'll fucking, one of them dropped it and it like died and they made it just go still and die. And they literally held like a funeral for this robot I monkey. I need to see this. And it was, oh, now all of a sudden. No, I'm not showing you. <laughs> Well, I need to see no. it because it sounds like you're fucking making it up. Also, um, were they filming it and putting it on YouTube for profit? Because then we will really know the connection to monkeys and humans. Once monkeys start recording them giving food to people and money to people in Best Buy. But disaster strikes. An injured baby is a cause for concern. Oh, you thought I was lying? Yeah, no. look at his butt. And this Langer seems to believe she's died. And then look. Then, something extraordinary happened. Look at them. It's like his Azul. Look, they host a funeral like this is gonna make me cry. Yeah, no, it's like actually making me tear up. Motionless spy creature, <laughs> as if it is a real baby. No, why is this me cry? This is deep as fuck. <laughs> it's so obviously fake. He's <laughs> stupid, stupid ass, dumb ass critters. Stupid fucking ass monkey, like. Wow. They react Look. just as they do when their own babies die. <laughs> this has to be edited, like, to make it look like they're actually. Look, they weird. hug. They're so sad. A calm and contemplative mood descends on the colony. He's looking up at God. There's a sense Oh of my god, what if monkeys think well there's a god? We another. are their god. Nah, we're the devil. Yeah. Quite accidentally, our spy creature is at the center of something extra. But yeah. That is wow, that actually made me tear up, yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, there's even more spy critters. Like, it's really fucking crazy. Okay, stupid ass monkeys though, because that monkey looks obviously fake. And the spy bird is hilarious. It, like, literally made me fucking <laughs> scream. Oh, yeah, this is a spy grub, which is so OD. Like, they made a fucking grub worm with a spy camera, and the birds eat it. The birds eat it? They killed the fucking bird. And then, oh, here's one. They made a spy pile Turd. of shit. This that is just then, the Ace Ventura movie. It then rolls, it like drops these cameras. And then that bird, look at the bird. Did you see it? <laughs> That's a spy bird. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Is that so they can like film, film, film? for um, film for her? Like Discovery Channel? You and thought I was not? filming you? You thought I was filming for her? But look, if you go through this subreddit, like, there Ryan are Carlotta. so many. Look. The thing is, a lot of that footage kind of fucking sucks. Yeah, they don't <laughs> even use like that the footage. footage. The footage they're getting from the sky, spy cameras aren't even good. Oh, yeah, the the baby he followed. He the fuck out of that baby. Yeah. And then it started, and the baby, the whole herd left the baby elephant behind and then was uh the baby like got stuck on the land because it's not allowed to go into the water because the first part is super muddy so it just got left behind and then the mom like forgot about him and then sprinted back and was like beating the shit out of him with its fucking trunk because it was like don't ever leave my side again and the mom like it was a learning lesson for both of them because it was like i gotta look out for my baby but elephants are like that's smarter me than you when humans. we walk into a store and there's rocks in there yeah you walk away from me to go look <laughs> you at the start rocks. hitting me with a belt but i do it sensually so i don't get in trouble mm -hmm. we get in trouble for Fucking each other because I get to fuck with your sister. We should take you to get a makeover. Like, I'm thinking we get... No, I don't need that because I'm already hot. Okay, here's I'm what already I'm thinking. I'm peak form. Here's what I'm thinking for you. Extensions. Laminate your eyebrows. 
perm your lashes. We can perm your mustache to sit correctly. No, you you're not getting any. We're not doing anything permanent. We can oh we can get you lip blushing though we can get you lip blushing so your lips are permanently like overly pink. I need Kybella. I need that. Um. I need a facelift. I need hey Le hey Mer eye cream. Hey, you don't need anything. Thank you. What you need to do is it's love yourself. You. Oh, I mean a lot of people need that, but I can't be of service to everybody. What do I look like? Triple A? I'm <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start laughing like that. <laughs> Wait, this is this is my impression of Kai. Hey, me. I get no bitches. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> oh, I get no bitches. I thought you would understand because I just sounded like you. My name is Kai. That's not what I my sound like. My name is Kai. I get no bitches. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I sound like. Dude, he's doing it. In- <laughs> right, you're me- actually you're you're better at sounding like you than my, you sound normally. My name is Kai. I get no bitches. That sounds like what you. Sound my name like. is Kai, and I get no bitches. <laughs> yeah, that's how you sounded. That's you sound just like about fucking right. Kermit the Frog. My name is I don't Kai. I'm so sad. Mm-hmm. 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 I need Jim Henson to come back to life so I can fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people I need to come back to life so I can fuck them. I'm gonna do um, a teleprompter test. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So rumors on the street, and I'm killing them now. Do you want um, me to hold it for you? That I can't read, um, and we're going to do the teleprompter test live and in 4K. Uh, what is the rainbow scope? Um, oh, LGBT. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Let's tap in. Pride. Four, three, two. Welcome to the Big Ant National Weather Forecast. As we head into the middle of the week, we are seeing a storm system pushing west, which is already bringing rain showers up in the Pacific Northwest and light hail and sleet in the Rockies. <laughs> Moving across the eastern U.S., the very cool areas are starting to retreat. This is slow. We have around 51 New York City, and (laughs) although there is still sunshine in Atlanta, it is cool 52, but it's getting warmer. In the central part of the country, we are starving between, (laughs) staying between 50 and 60. Out west, we are seeing some rain cooler temperatures. Seattle is hovering around 49 and no head uh, to put, or no need to put your suntan lotion on just yet. A little more weather down in Florida. Scattered storms out in Orlando and Miami to some storms and quite powerful later on in the evening. <laughs> By Thursday, the storm system will increase in risky heavy rain and even large storms across the southern hemisphere of Texas and going into Louisiana, Baton Rouge. Okay, I want to try. Well, now I like watched you read it, so I feel You're like it's like no. Yeah, do a different one. Oh my god, that was so funny. Honestly, if you ever no, need we'll your spirits lifted, just watch Drew read out loud. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, so embarrassing. What if I fuck it up? Wait, that's the same one. And don't fuck it up. I'm so embarrassed that now I have a jewel in my hand because I used to be the person who made fun of people so bad for it. But honestly, right, I've never ready? had a vice in my life and I need something. What do you want me to do? Heroin? <laughs> Let's use this practice session to report on the life and passing of Queen Elizabeth II of England. Her Majesty ascended to the... You put <laughs> <laughs> the shit in double speed. And put it in two times speed. But I was kind of eating though. You know, you kind of ate. You kind of ate. This has got to be too slow. Yeah. Let's use this practice session to report on the life and passing of Queen Elizabeth II of England. Her Majesty acceded or, yeah, to the throne at the young age of 25. Flop. Though young and inexperienced in the role, through hard work and determination, she managed to visit every realm, some 
many times over. Yeah, Every realm. Talking. What the fuck is she talking about? Like, she would meet with the prime ministers of her time regularly. This must have been a curious situation, <laughs> being privy to sensitive information. Hurry, yeah. While ensuring a neutral position, she continued in the fashion through a total of 15 prime ministers. The queen's role as head of state saw her acting as diplomat and hostess to over 110 presidents. This shit, fuck, the, what, what the fuck are they talking about? Fuck Queen Girl. Elizabeth. <laughs> she can stay dead because I don't want to have sex with her. I want to fuck her. What if you could bring someone to life but only through the power of sex? Girl. <laughs> no, I mean, I, yeah. It's just not funny because you, I, I mean, can wait, read, wait, 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 listen read. to this. You literally can by making babies. Ew. <laughs> you bring someone to life, planting your seed inside of a woman. Wow. They fucking made babies in a test tube without sperm and I think without egg or a uh, woman egg even. And they made it and it was secreting chemicals that made a test, a uh, present, oh my fucking God, <laughs> that made a pregnancy test positive, like go off positive. And it was, go there was off. no, literally, they like made the DNA and shit on its own. Wait, but is it growing a baby or yes. isn't that illegal? Like why are bitches just growing babies in potions? Also randomly in a fucking, just randomly one day we launched a nuclear warhead into the Pacific Ocean like a couple weeks ago, maybe this week, maybe last week. Where I don't do know. you see all of this? Because like, uh, like I just don't like, like where? Like <laughs> when I think of you on your phone, I'm like, there's no way you go this like. How do you use it? Like. I just don't understand. It's my superpower. I'm not even playing when I to say that. It's fake news. It's my super, <laughs> no, that's not fake news. That's real. We launched a nuclear warhead and it was a fake show news. of power because we're like, look, we got nuclear warheads that can reach all the way to fucking Russia, wherever we need to launch these bitches. So don't fucking play. And it made me patriotic for half a moment. I was like, don't fucking send nukes at me because we will blow you up. I think Mr. Beast is becoming war propaganda. It's He's becoming pro war propaganda. It is not true. This chill. started as a corner with two freaks who liked Mr. Beast. Nowadays, I'm starting to question where he stands. And Mr. Beast, if you want to come onto the podcast and, and clear, clear, your, clear name, your name, we're always here for you. But for now, you were being punished because, oh, actually, okay. Also, if you want to fly me out to North Carolina, first class only, don't fucking play with me. I'll have sex with I'll Mr. Beast. I would fuck him. Yeah, I'd fuck him. Yeah. Yeah, if I had to. Yeah. Um, if Actually, I'm not kidding. If I right. had to fuck him to see one of those explosions, 100%. I do need to see one of those explosions. I'll fuck anyone in the crew. Except Nolan. Wait, which the... Or Carl. The, uh, Carl, Carl. I'm, I'm Carl. like, except Nolan, except Carl. Wait, what's the one who we all think is like kind of fine? Um, Chandler. Chandler. So Chandler I'll fuck not... anyone in the Mr. Beast crew except everyone except Ch Chandler. Chandler so I'd have sex and with Mr. Chandler. Beast. And then there's um, Carl. Kind of freaks me the fuck out. Like, <laughs> got some weird ass. <laughs> also, like, I don't know why I think it's okay to talk about living people our <laughs> age and be like, so if I had to fuck one of them, <laughs> yeah. Because if someone did that, no, actually, if someone was doing that about me, I'd be like. I know. I miss when okay. people Thank like openly you. said they wanted to fuck me. No still, one wants to fuck me anymore. And still no cum tributes on the Reddit. Like, where's the cum tributes like for me? The thing is, I, I think if that actually happened, people would be pissed. So I'm giving people permission to literally come on a face of my picture. I need a snail trail across one of my pics, personally. <laughs> Like I need like someone to move it like a holographic ew, car. Ew, ew, ew. Baga. You silly baga. Should we eat ice cream for our first meal? Like I'm not even kidding. Yes. Why is that so good? Have, I wanted ice cream like three nights ago. I, I want like, that. I want a sweet treat. I want the one on the large. Italian spot. Yeah. yeah. You, you want to come get ice cream after this? Yes. We know you do. You just have to eat across the street. Oh my God. <laughs> You just have to eat across the street from us. No, we found a good ass Can spot. Can I eat with you guys this time? No. Okay. You're going to eat at Sweet Finn and we're going to eat at the ice cream okay. spot. Okay. I no, understand. but we found this really good spot that is like a major key alert and they make the best Italian ice cream ever. Yeah, it's like Italian, like whatever the fuck they be calling it. Gelato. Oh, gelato. Yeah. yeah. So good. <laughs> smoking on gelato. Smoking on gelato. Hey. The next episode, I'm going to roll the fattest blunt you've ever seen and smoke the whole thing and then like pass out on screen. <laughs>
just to like traumatize a few people. Okay, no, I you're like not. have to scratch you're my. You're literally boob. not gonna do. Blur that. that. You're literally not. I'm gonna, gonna though. Um, all right. Wait, why am I gonna? A couple questions. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. All right, it's looking like it's time for me to go to another therapy session because my friend asked if I was okay and asked me a simple question and I started crying through the answer, which means that I have unfinished business to resolve. If you ever find yourself in a moment alone and immediately your mind is going a thousand miles an hour, all of the subconscious anxieties that you have are just flooding to the forefront of your brain. It might be a sign that it's time to sit down with your therapist and really tackle those things so that in moments of ease, you can actually find peace. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Not saying you need a therapist, but honestly, after talking to you for three minutes, I think you really need a therapist, girl. Tap in. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash intercom today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com slash intercom. After a therapy session, I just feel like it's way easier to talk about my feelings without getting so charged up and just drained. So I like to take at least two to three sessions a month just to make sure that I'm settled and ready for hard conversations and also ready to be a better friend and family member to the people around me and lover to your mom. This episode of Emergency Intercom is brought to you by ZocDoc. Okay, y'all, listen. I have a very embarrassing ailment. Um, let's just say there's a problem with my bottom. There's a lot going on down there, and I need it looked at immediately. And that's where ZocDoc comes in. What made it so easy is I didn't have to speak to a human being and tell them what was going on with my um, H-O-L-E. Uh, I just had to type it into the app and book with a primary caregiver and it was crazy because they had my insurance. So I didn't have to dance around and go to a bunch of different doctors telling them my ailments and hoping they had my insurance. ZocDoc is a free app that lets you find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top rated patient reviewed doctors and specialists you can filter specifically for the ones who take your insurance are located near you and treat almost every condition you're searching for these doctors all have verified reviews from actual real patients not bots and the average wait time for zocdoc is literally just 24 to 48 hours for a lot of the doctors on there once you find a doctor you want you can book them immediately with just a few taps no more waiting awkwardly on hold with the receptionist telling them about your hole go to zocdoc.com intercom and download the zocdoc app today for free then find and book top rated doctors today that's z-o-c-d-o-c dot com slash intercom zocdoc dot com slash intercom okay we're gonna answer some questions because we've never done that for our main episode and we thought it'd be fun like just what are it's you guys thinking it's a vibe it's a vibe hey. if the questions don't provoke a funny answer i'm gonna wish death upon whoever asked the question it's a vibe What's the best Fortnite season? <laughs> season one, baby. Um, the best season was with the the theater, the outdoor theater, when we all started first playing together. Uh, when you would land at the top, oh, like yeah. that was the best. That was like that peak was Fortnite. So you had the automatic assault rifle with like the scope on it. Like it literally was the best. And I'm so upset because I wasn't that good at playing it yet. And I wish I could play that now because bitch, I would be killing nah, it. Y'all weren't Fortnite, fucking. Y'all fucked up. It's too much now. Y'all weren't fucking with Fortnite in the real good season. I mean, Kai might have, but bitches um, be like, I was, I was there I first. Played, I no, played the first like, season. I was there first. The real season like December 31st no 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 wait well, let's actually find it because I have my very first win on camera oh my gosh what are we gonna do Drew's the last one standing that was peak Fortnite like getting home from school 
and going upstairs into your bedroom or going to your bedroom and isolating for three hours and playing with your friends and fucking sucking, dude. Everyone was so bad at Fortnite. Back then, like, no one was good. And it was, like, that was was that was that what made it fun. It wasn't, like, competing. Like, you were just trying to stay alive and you weren't trying to kill as many people as possible. You were literally just, like, that was a vibe. Like, just trying to stay alive and hiding in bushes until the final kill and trying to, like, trying your hardest to get a kill. Um, Because movement wasn't a thing yet. I didn't play when I was in high school because I was too busy getting home from school and then like banging your mama. Which honestly, now that I look back at it, is probably not good. Actually, for me, it was after playing Fortnite. I was squirt making your mama squirt juice. You were squirting. You're making your mama squirt squirt juice. Did we create the? No, we didn't. There's no way. Um, someone the other day said cream team or squirt squad in front of me, and in my head I was like, "That's my saying." And I was like, I, "We didn't make that squirt up." Squad. Squirt squad. Did you guys make I that think up? I think we might have made. I up think squirt I made squad. that up in like one of the first episodes. Yeah, like cream team or squirt squad. But I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Maybe we did it. But yeah, what someone said it the other day, and I was like, "Do you listen to the podcast? Like, why are you saying that to me?" Are you cream team or squirt? I've only seen that in the comments squad. of the podcast and stuff. Yeah. We, I mean, this uh, this podcast low key gives Squirt Squad. Like, I don't think it yeah. serves Cream Team. We serve Squirt Squad. I agree. Like, I'm trying to think of what podcast would be like Cream Team. Theo Vaughn's podcast no, that's Squirt is Squad. Squirt Squad. Yeah, that's Squirt Squad. Cream Team is like a doctor making a podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. boring, yeah. boring. Like, I love you and I listen to you, but boring. Uh, murder podcasts or killers. That's cream squirters. team. No, 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 that's cream team. They're squirting all over the place. No, they're like creaming, and it's like guys settle this debate in the it comments. It like dries up, like weird, like they're murder podcasts or cream team. I feel like it's a squirt because it's like high energy and like. No, a squirt is like ludicrous. Like, oh my god, I can't believe you just fucking squirted. So like a Theo Vaughn or like a us or like a Trixie and Katya, like those are like that's all squirting, um, but like. Cream is more like, like, oh, like it's on my fucking jeans. I don't know. I feel like it's a squirt. You feel like it's a cream. We can move on. Though. Yeah, we can agree to disagree. <laughs> Next question. Do you guys feel creatively fulfilled? What does that look like for you guys? Um, Right now, creatively fulfilled? No. Um, there was like a moment where with the podcast, it was like, all the creative I needed, but like everything I'm growing and changing and it's just not like what I want it to be currently, but I'm hoping in the next few months, the podcast becomes creatively fulfilling. Yeah. Changes coming. Um, and I hope it does become creatively fulfilling. However, podcast aside for me, I think like, creating a show of some sort or like creating a cartoon like with original characters and all that is a vibe or just like starting a brand that like like not clothing because i suck at making clothing but like starting a brand outside that can live outside of myself and like be on the shelf at like target or walmart and like for people to buy it and not know it's attached to me would be very creative. Yeah, fulfilling. I was going to say, like I think it's like, brand. it's hard when your creative fulfillment has so much to do with your own person. Like being a comedian and feeling creatively fulfilled is kind of difficult because this sounds well, girls annoying. Aren't, girls can't be comedians. Oh, I was they have speaking vaginas. for you. Because okay, yeah. like men can't like articulate their thoughts properly. So yeah. I was just really looking at you and trying yeah, to read Yeah, and you. girls have vaginas so they can't be comedians. Yeah, because like what am I going to tell the joke out of my pussy lips? Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but it's like hard as a comedian to feel creatively fulfilled, especially when it's not something I think we like turn on and off. I feel like we're constantly performing through day to day life. So it's hard to feel creatively fulfilled through that in terms of just communicating or like doing the podcast because the podcast is so conversationalist. I do feel fulfilled by it when I walk away and I'm like that was a really funny episode I like literally get a high off of it but sometimes it's hard to just always make a funny episode but we are hopefully headed towards excited change which don't fucking complain when you see change because I'm gonna fucking slap you in the head um big things coming but yeah like I I think it's just important to find other creative 
paths to feel fulfilled. Recently, I've been like really into taking like photos. Um, and yeah. that's been like really fulfilling. Like I pulled out an old camera. And I want to get back to like taking photos. And like I went somewhere the other day and like drew and like read. Like it, it's important to just like expand. Yeah. And I think like another thing, I mean, this might be just like our experience, but like, um, I know when I'm like creating things and then I post it online, it immediately becomes just like so un exciting for me because like it becomes like a job. It becomes like a part of my job. Like, um, so like if I like, yeah, I know you're draw saying. something. I don't know it. Yeah, I don't share my drawings anymore because it literally takes away the magic. Yeah. But it just start it makes it feel like, oh, okay, what is this work? Like, why am I adding this to like? the person and business that is me online. It's nice to just have those things and reserve them for myself. Yeah. And then every now and then post it so all my mutuals and friends can be like, oh my God, did you draw that? And I'm like, yeah, bitch, I bet you didn't know I was sexy, funny, can draw, can suck dick like a fucking beast. <laughs> suck a dent out of a car door, babe. <laughs> I need to stop. Like, I, I make way too many sex jokes. I'm just like... I, I feel like girls why... should be more open about their sex life. Ooh. Like, I'm just no. here for the eh. girls. No. Next question. <laughs> um, Can you tell us your most... Oh, my God. I just realized whenever we've done a QA, and a I've listened to it back, and I start every question with um, and then I want to blow my brains out, and I just realized I was doing <laughs> it. you're beautiful. That's okay. I say like you every other word. You do look good today, though. I don't Actually? Know, I mean, yes. Dude, I'm not even joking. I feel like you're lying, because I saw my reflection on the way out, and I was like... Mm -mm. No, I literally it. saw him and I was like, what is different? And I was like, oh, he's got a little stubble. Oh, like, he looks thank you. nice. Kai looks Have fine. you ever thought about growing in a mustache? When I met I, him, he had a mustache. I did. I had one. Does when yours grow you, yeah. pretty thick or is it like a thinner mustache? I, I It's like in between. I feel like it's neither thin or very thick. Grow it out for us, Kai. Yeah, I'm trying to like for imagine you? you with a mustache right now. Do it and then post it online and watch the girls go crazy. <laughs> Okay, can you <laughs> can you tell us your most common intrusive thought? Uh, kill myself, kill myself. Yeah, kill Wait, myself. calm or yeah, oh. or oh. Uh, common. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's death. <laughs> no, like like I'm all not encompassing, getting, consuming. Like, like I need to watch a plane crash right now. Like, like I need shit. terror, 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 nightmare, nightmare, yeah. nightmare, nightmare. But you know what I think it is? I've said this before, but I think it was growing up so depressed and like still having like it's that's such a depressing answer. Yeah. Next. I, mine is uh, also like if I'm holding a baby to like push it soft spot, like I'm like I need to fucking kill this baby. I need to rip it limb for limb. I guess my most intrusive thought is I or crash if, his car. If I'm next to someone who I have any sort of love for, I want to like pinch them or like punch their arm. Yeah, and has been like attempting to poke my butthole recently, <laughs> but like out of love and like it hasn't quite got there yet, but like the day it happens will be like very magical for both of us, I feel like. <laughs> when we're like both. I it's such a bad habit. Like if I'm close to someone, this sounds It only bad. happens on the stairs. Th this sounds so bad, like me saying this, but like our friend group is like very like this. Like I don't know. It's it sounds so bad. But I love like going to touch someone's like butt cheeks or like yeah. I mean I like literally just will walk by and grab your ass. It's like funny <laughs> yeah, for us. Like, uh, but if our, someone else did it to me, I'd be like, literally, what you are you? You are doing? attacking me. But it's just like it's so funny. I think it ties back into us thinking like sexual stuff is really funny. But like I love pinching like my friends' asses, and that's my intrusive thought. Like if somebody's ass is in my face, I'm like, I need to poke their fucking butt Dude, right now. That like, I actually, need to, like, I was gonna say, like, one of my intrusive <laughs> thoughts, this isn't me joking, is like when I'm like talking to you, like every time I'm talking to you, I like want to grab your boobs and like be like honk honk. Like I want to honk your boobs. Like so I know, bad. and he'll like reach out to do it. I'm like, hello? <laughs> like, what are you doing? I literally just want to go. See, we talk like this, and then we're like, "Why do people think we fuck? <laughs> Why do people think we actually have sex and stuff and whatnot?" Um. All right. Next question: Tits or ass? Um. <laughs> I'm more of an ass man myself, but like boobs and bonbons can like do it for me. Yeah, you could get down with mm. some bonbons or Bronson. Why? Why pick between those two? Which one? Bonbons or Bronson? For me? Yeah. Bronson probably. Yeah, I, I'd say bonbons. I don't know that I Bronsons care about scary. bonbons, like, cause I have boobs, so I'm like, 
Why why do you need tits too? If I woke up in a woman's body, you would want G size tits. <laughs> I don't even know what the sizing scale is. G is humongous. A B C D like Dick Destroy, double D cock triple D E F G. We're the cock destroyers. Yeah, the cock destroyers. Well, there's actually a question that says if you guys woke up in your opposite bodies, what's the first thing that you would do? Go outside. I would touch grass. I would. I would <laughs> give record his body, myself. Give his body a new experience and go the fuck outside. <laughs> Shock his system. Drink some water. Um, I would fully just shock his system. Wake up, have a green juice, drink water. I would uh, shoot my arm up with heroin and take a video of me doing it and post it on my IG story and say, like, this is the new me. But make would it really artsy. Would you at least artsy. block my parents from no, seeing it? Mm -mm, everyone oh my God. would see it. Yeah, I'd ruin your life. I mean, actually, I could spin that for me. I could make that really good for me. No, actually. like you would be addicted and it wouldn't be fun. No, but then I could spin it for me and like be like, guys, I really need help. Oh, and then start a GoFundMe, oh, yeah, yeah, but then yeah, use yeah. the money to buy shoes. Yeah, so I guess and we would do heroin. good things for each other. I would shoot yeah. you up with heroin and you'd make me touch grass. Yeah, and I would like make you healthy. So yeah. it's perfect. And if I woke uh, up in Kai's and badness body. Madness and combination. <laughs> combination. If I woke up in Kai's body. Um, I would look in the mirror and say, I love you. Oh, thank you. Because I feel like you need to love yourself a little bit more. Yeah, if I woke up in your body, I would get rid of all the mirrors in my home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. well, because they and broke. And cover because... my iPhone with Wait, this like, is the such privacy. a shitty. Because they broke because you looked at them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Next question. Um, what do you imagine you would be doing if your paths had never crossed? And you never met each other. I would legitimately be like addicted to drugs in a crazy way. Like, and that's not even a joke. Like, I was going down such a dark path, and I'm will probably never be ready to talk about it. Do you but. think I had anything to do with the, your trajectory on that, though? No, but yeah. if we just like didn't have aspirations to move in, if we didn't even know each other, like I would probably not be doing the internet and doing heavy drugs all the time. Um, all I, the time. I think I would probably still be here, just like maybe not as happy because I don't think like if I didn't meet you, like because I met Christian, then you, then everybody. Um, but like meeting you at that first show was kind of what roped me in because when I went there, I felt so awkward and didn't speak to anybody. So if I didn't meet you, I probably wouldn't have done that. It was literally love at first sight. Yeah, we, like not we, even like not even joking. It wasn't yeah, like we immediately like clicked platonic. so well. Soulmates. Um, except I thought I was gonna like marry you, like not actually. I mean, but I, I was, have like, that obsessed effect on you. people, bro. Like, oh people my god, you taking like, that straight uh, to your head? <laughs> like, I want to. There is not a single person who I'm friends with who, at one point, I wasn't like, oh my god. But for um, me, for you with me, it was like deeper though. Yeah, I think I would still be in LA, but um, and I, honestly, like it sounds annoying to say, but I'd probably still be here. With a podcast, but like I, I would probably be doing it alone with Emma Chamberlain. Yeah, with Ember, Ember Chamberlain. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd probably just be like Dolo doing the same thing and just like wanting to kill myself. Yeah. So my life wouldn't fucking change. You know, I have this really, really unethical documentary that, like, if I created, I wouldn't be able to tie my name to. Um, and I'm not gonna give you the rundown because you will think I'm a fucking monster. But it kind of ties into like. I would probably be documenting my life as a drug addict, low key, which is a vibe and someone should do. Oh my god. All right, that got pretty pretty dark there at the end. Um, and yeah, what was the experience like filming with Brat TV? Oh, I'll take this. Um <laughs> I don't think I've ever talked about this. Have I talked about this, Drew? I don't think so. So because you were recording a documentary. Yeah. So if you don't know, that's like not even a joke. Like the reason I did that Brat series isn't because I was aspiring to be a fucking actress with Brat TV. Although I would like to pursue acting maybe when I'm like 42. Um, because I do love being on camera. But right now it makes me want to kill myself. You made me want to kill myself. Um. Basically, I had always made fun of Brat TV. I thought it was like really funny, like low quality production. I, me and Josh, 
I got the offer to do it. And then I like pulled Josh aside. I'm like, I was like, dude, it'd be so funny to film behind the scenes and make like a mockumentary of like, just like every famous person has like, oh, is this thing like, like, whoa, like the camera always starts here and they're like, what's Mm -hmm. your name? Like, what are you doing? Like, what's the journey you're about to go on? And that was kind of like, I wanted to make a mockumentary style thing about like a young influencer who was really convinced that they were about to fucking win an Emmy off this really shitty show. Um, And Josh came with me every day to sit. Like I said, I I said I would do it if they let me bring Josh. And I told them I was going to be vlogging for my YouTube channel. They said yes, because they were like, okay, yeah, you're going to promote the show. Um, and Josh came with me to set like almost every other day and we would just like film bits. Like the first day I was there, my car got towed and like, we did like a whole funny bit over it of like me being like just delusional, taking like an Uber black to the towing place. Mm. Um, just whatever, like shit like that. Like young blood was in the show and we got a really funny clip of me going up to him and like my like character thought it was Lil Xan and I kept calling him Lil Xan and I was like, Lil Xan is here. Like, holy fuck. Like, whatever. And it was just like me being delusional. Like in the kissing scene, we have like shots of me like doing the kiss and then pushing the guy off of me. You kissed another guy. It was for work. Don't be like that. Oh my God. It was for work. Don't be like that. This happens every time. I'm not fucking dealing with this shit anymore. I didn't say where I kissed him, so it doesn't count. Okay, well, it's coming back and I'm leaving again. <laughs> Drew gets really jealous. Oh, but yeah, like, it's like now. me, like, running. Yeah, I'm yours now. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter how many people I fucked and screwed and, like, made squirt. I saw You're a, shaking. I saw this really delusional TikTok. Actually, no, keep going because uh, we'll lose this. Um... Yeah, I there was like a clip of like after I like I kissed him for the scene, like me pushing him off and like running to the bathroom and like throwing up and being like, dude, he's so disgusting. Like he's not even like he's not he doesn't even have an IMBD yet. I can't believe I just kissed that fucker. Like whatever, just stupid shit like that. But what happened is while I was filming because I'm such an empath, um, I literally fell in love with like the production team there. Like I just was meeting all these people, and like it really had me thinking about. It actually was such a good experience for me because I'm so easily like, oh, you're corny, you're cringy, whatever. But meeting all those people, I'm like, all these people have aspirations to make something like, quote unquote, better. And this is kind of their like jumping platform. Or some of them just genuinely enjoy making like content like this that is for like younger audiences. And they like enjoy being a part of the team and they love their job. And I just got so close to everyone on set and it didn't help that I was going through like a breakup at the time. So I was like really emotionally charged and all these people kind of knew about it because I was just like in such a hard, like in the, it was like such a tumultuous time actually when I think about it, but I literally loved the whole crew. I just like fell in love with everybody on the set and oh my God, you're such a jealous bastard. It was four years ago, like get over it. Um, But yeah, and then I just never used any of the documentation that we got. We never cut it into anything. We never did anything with it. We never really watched the footage. Um, Yeah, we never looked at the footage. I wonder if Josh still has it. I think so. Josh, do you still have, is he here? I think he left. Me talking to the bathroom, the empty <laughs> bathroom. Um, I think he still has it. Josh is really good with saving like everything he does. Dude, for the he most has part. like, like actually the last like six years of us documented yeah. like in a very heavy way. And um, we were watching clips from like when we all first started filming together, and it's crazy like how much we've all changed. Like you and Josh haven't really changed much like visually, like appearance wise, but like me and christian like look like crazy like i was still in my like twink arc i'm not a fucking twink someone say you're still no i'm not a fucking twink bitch oh my god um i'm like an otter yeah that's what i was gonna say you're like like, otter oh you're cute you're a cute man thank you um but yeah we never did anything with it and i just like let it rock and i was like i'm not gonna like make fun of this thing that also i committed so much time to and then that had me thinking too i'm like It's like, as I grow older, I'm like, I can make fun of something as much as I want, but if I find enjoyment of it, then I am just being prideful and judgmental for no reason. And it's okay to be a part of things that I don't worship as top tier art. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, that's my overly long answer. It was really fun, actually, being with Denzel, too. Like, me and Denzel became, like, good friends via that, too.
Okay. Oh my god. Hey. Another man? No, Denzel doesn't like 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 girls. Like. Oh, he's coming back. Okay. I don't think you, like you do. Next question. Either, so that's our career. Next question. Okay. I'm Next sure. and last question. Okay, I'm trying to find another one. Find a juicy one, Kai. It's all up to you. If you don't find a good one, you're gonna destroy the vibe. Kai, if your middle name was Bella, it would be Kai Bella. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm I I'm really struggling to find one. A lot of these say do it far. A lot of them say cream team or squirt squad. Um, you guys are crazy, but that's why. Do a lot I of them say you. Kai is beautiful because they're telling the truth. I would question that too. So if I was asked the question, I would be like, "Is Kai beautiful?" And the answer would probably be like, "No, beautiful is the wrong word." Yeah, when I look in the mirror, it's they more like they break, jarring, <laughs> jarring. No, skin. no, no, no. Kai knows he's attractive. You have to know you're an attractive man. I genuinely do not think that. Like, I really am. I'm being. I'm not just being humble when I say this. It's. I think it's a meme. That people are like, you know what I mean? Like, no, people it's like find you attractive because you're an podcast. attractive person. Yeah, you're hot. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're an attractive man. I'm not friends with ugly people, so uh, think about that. Hello, you're right there. But I guess you're an employee, so me just that like doesn't really frantically matter. trying to find a question to <laughs> change the subject. You're right there, so you are friends with ugly people. I'm friends with the monster that's out uh, of my bed. Drew, when album drop? When's the album dropping? Um, so I've been working on it for like, what, like six years now. It is really my magnum opus. It's like potentially the greatest thing I've ever created. Oh, and your magnum opinus? It might never see the light of day, honestly. I don't think ears are deserving for it. It's definitely ahead of its time. And like, if I dropped it now, it would flop. People wouldn't fuck with it. But in 15 years, they'd be like, damn, he was like really creating shit for yeah. the future. Yeah. Like people just wouldn't understand it now. So I'm like, do I drop it now? Or do I wait 10 to 15 years and drop it then when it's like, when the ears are ready? That's what I'm struggling with. Like, do yeah. I want to be cool now? Or do I want to be cool in the future? Like, I heard it and it's insane. Yeah. Like I can't, enjoy music anymore no. yeah because i'm like, always comparing everything to that yeah i mean i feel the same way i'm not even gonna be humble about it it really My is God. a masterpiece um okay should we do juice eye up corner yeah i'll only give them three today um the inventor of celery be like damn i wish i could bite water with hair in it <laughs> that's a good one uh, I'm so freaking excited for autism, like beautiful orange and red leaves everywhere. Ugh, yes, and pumpkin spice lattes. Oh my God, the other day I had my first meal was a pumpkin spice latte and oysters. And a cigarette. So yeah, and cigarettes. So if you're wondering how my coochie tastes, it tastes like Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> People died. <laughs> he only misses me because I could suck a dent out of a car door. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. For real. Send that to me, please. I hate cheap ass toilet paper. I just fingered my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Inya knows everything until I ask her, what's that smell? <laughs> that was a good one. Y'all are eating discharge like, ooh wee, she got that wet wet. No, <laughs> you are eating cream of mushroom. That's discharge, babe. Ooh wee. <laughs> um, and then this oh! one is, this one is mid. No, I'm not even gonna fucking say. No, it. say, say, it. say. I need to know. It's stupid. Social media is only uh, social media only toxic to miserable people. I'm having a ball <laughs> on this bitch. <laughs> It's literally true. And like y'all need to just fucking relax a little bit. We need Tumblr to come back because we need that echo chamber of everyone just yelling at each other and it needs to be just there. I'm trying to find this one that I have. Okay, so here is Oh wow. <laughs> we like can't put that in. He would be pissed. We can ask him. It will ask. Okay. I think I maybe I read this, but I'll add to Psyop Corner. I offered you five hits from my elf bar. He offered you 20, and that's why you chose him. But what you didn't know was that he had 500 puffs left, and I had only five. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy. 
What the hell? Makes you think. That was actually really deep. All right. Um. So. Should we get into media? Yeah. Okay. I guess we have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> um. A barely lit path. One o tricks. Point never. Never. Um, you know what I listened to finally, and I could listen to it all the way through, and I did cry, but it felt good. Was um, uh, what are the, what's that fucking song? A Texas song, Dead Brother, driving up and down the street. Slow dive. Yes, slow dive. It's, uh, roving. Roving. Yes, that song. Slow roving or? Yeah, listen to that fucking song. Star roving. Yes. Also, I saw a video of the dad of an interview of a dad of the dad. Oh, my fucking God. God this song is stroking. so good. Um, I saw a video of the lead in Slow Dive talking about how he has like a 12 year old daughter that like had no idea what music he made and just thought he was in an old lame band and that was it. But then his daughter started like realizing her friends have been listening to Slow Dive a little bit. And it was just like a cute moment for him and his daughter because now she's like interested in his work and she always was like, this shit's bullshit. You're in a shitty band. Oh, I wish my dad was in Slow Dive. Hello? Hi, Drew. Yeah, so you're like on the podcast right now, Mom, and I was curious if I should come back home to Texas in like a week or so. Oh, good God, no, Drew. Shut up. I can't talk right now. Oh. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> yeah, no, that's a fun game we play. <laughs> the, I don't. Oh, are you about to cry? She seems serious. <laughs> that's a fun. No, it's like fun for us. Drew, do you want like, me to cut that? I know. Just like, should we stop? Do you need to take a break? Hello. Oh, he's rebooting. Just gonna. He'll. Like, he'll be back. What is? What do you just mean, re- rebooting. Oh. Welcome back. Hey. Okay, we're gonna get back into media, guys. Sorry for that. <laughs> what happened? What are you sorry for? Um. Nothing, nothing happened. She just your mom called and said she loved you and then hung up on you. But oh, okay. because yeah. she was so overpowered. So she's proud of you and Really? That's fucking weird. She never says that. Yeah. I wish I did. remembered that. Fuck. <laughs> I wish I remembered that. Uh, um mine is Long Hot Summer, the style council. And that's all I'm gonna say. Turn style. I'm so hot. Grind mode, whole problems, JT money and honestly spin about you by drake i'm so high right now man i'm so fucking high all right bye bye, bye. We'll see you on patreon <laughs> <laughs>